Ikogi State Government has said it will not support Lagos and River State Government in the move to make the collection of value added tax VAT inclusive for states. Governor Nelson Wike of River State on Thursday signed into law the B on value added tax VAT collection in the state. Wike signed the bill, which was recently passed by the State House of Assembly at the Government House, Port High Court. He said the judgment of the Federal High Court sitting in Port High Court had sufficiently addressed the legality perpetrated by the Federal Highland Revenue Service. On Thursday, Lagos State House of Assembly also passed the bill after a numerous vote by the lawmakers and a copy has been sent to Babajide Sanwolu, Lagos governor, for his assent. The development has generated mixed reactions across the country. Speaking on a program on Arise TV on Friday, Kingsley Fau, Kogi State Commissioner for Information and Communi Communication, said though it has advantages, the state was against the move. He said, we are not created equally, and God that created us did not give us equal potential, and we have to support one another. According to him, the call shows that some of our leaders are insensitive, self-centered, trying to make policies that further divide the country. Kogi is bordered by about 10 states of the Federation and a gateway to the north, the south, to anywhere and you will know that thousands of vehicles traverse the state on a daily basis. It is the mineral capital of Nigeria. When you look at our advantages, we should even be at the forefront of fighting for that to be completely restrained in the state. Retained in the state, sorry about that. But I think we should take it beyond this when we look at the development of the Southwest in those days. The Cocoa Harps and the Grand North in the North, the, the whole of Nigeria is reaping the benefit to today. And what we need to do at this material time as leaders is to stop thinking about ourselves alone. The position of Governor Yaya Bello on this is very clear. We will not jump on that uh, brand wagon to call for the retention of VAT completely in the state. We are not created equally, and God that created us did not give us equal potential, and we have to support one another, he said. Hmm. This uncomely sentiments can even worsen the whole issue. Jobless and lazy people cannot sit at their comfort zone to continue enjoying the sweat of hard-working somebody anymore. Get that into your book. Don't wait for Lagos and Rivers anymore. Work as you earn and earn as you work. Restructuring have already begun. It is a matter of time. Lazy politicians Look at who wants to become president come 2023, a global and national disgrace to even become Nigerian president. He has no common sense on how to generate income internally. How will he have the sense to improve national income as a president? God forbid he becomes president. Hmm. Disaster. Damage. Nigeria will ever experience god forbid this are nigerians reacting to this and they are still talking someone said that when you gave oil producing area a a three percent in the petroleum industry where you uh, being considered and your brother's skipper this vat is re technical knockout to all the lazy governors look at them coming out to talk whatever unproductive and useless sense can you see the lazy governors? They have started coming out now. The only thing they know is to go to Abuja every month, collect allocation and share it, and start oppressing the poor masses. I told Amajiris that 
them we eat sand not only grass for disrespecting indigos and their friends how my juries will cry blood when the language is clear to them this is just the beginning they have not seen anything this that is why we talked about the issue of giving power to each state and let the state control the resources at their domain and pay percentage to federal government by so doing every state we know we now look for a way of generating its revenue i give governor winke that credit because it's, it makes most of our state including my own benue state very very lazy for revenue generation and other state development as well because they enjoy free money that makes them extremely lazy see olodo that wanted to contest for 2023 presidency no plan on how to generate revenue no nothing the same way apc came to power with change you know mental whatever without any concrete plan i expect this young presidential aspirant to speak from intellectual angle we need people that can create something out of something or something out of something not sets of people that we continue to rely on money from oil you are becoming nuisance yeah yeah hello what exactly is kogi using to support others the weight of the south has really made people in the north lack creativity enough of laziness someone who hardly stays in his state to govern his people one apc public fashion to another yeah yeah bello will be one generational setback when elected president i think say una don't start to say oh yeah for kogi waiting be the insensitiveness again so guys these are nigerians reacting as you can see nigerians are really very very happy on this virus whatever every state should generate their revenue and all that and help yourself so that everybody go know what it that they do not be say you go just down every month you go wrong go abuja you collect a location you go come depose and all that work that is why you are there in that office so guys i'm dropping it here you kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up also click on the notification button for more updates Thank you very much for always stopping by. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.